Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to take you through the process of creating an online e-commerce store. Now if you're thinking it's difficult to do so or requires any technical skills, let me tell you, it's not that hard. I personally created my own online store with little knowledge, so I believe anyone with basic computer skills can do it as well. Thanks to platforms like Shopify, Wix, and WooCommerce, the process is simple and very straightforward. Now before we start, if at any point throughout this video you want to give Shopify a try, you can benefit from a three-day free trial as well as only pay one dollar per month for the first three months while clicking the link in the description down below. So let's get into the step-by-step -step process of building your online store. Now if you're totally new to using e-commerce platforms, it's a good idea to know a bit about what these platforms are and how they can help you set up your online store. Well, e-commerce platforms provide you with the necessary tools to create your online store from start to finish. So once you've decided to set up your online store, it's important to choose the right platform that offers all the features that your business requires. So with a simple Google search, you'll find many online platforms like Wix, WooCommerce, Shopify, and such, which offers different features to meet different business needs. Now when I set up my online e-commerce business, I realized that choosing the right platform platform is as important as having a business idea. Once you've selected the right platform to build your online store, it's as if you've completed 50% of the work. Now the remaining 50% is setting up your store with the tools provided by the platform. Now the platform will take care of everything that your business requires from selling products to managing inventory. But remember, not all platforms are user friendly and you'll have to look out for the platform that offers the most simplified process for building your online store. After researching to find a suitable platform for my own shop, I narrowed down the options to Shopify and WooCommerce and Magento. Now, if you're looking for an easy option that offers dropshipping services, then Shopify is your best option. Now, if you're looking to customize your store and already have a WordPress website, then WooCommerce can help you with that. And if you like to customize your website using WordPress or WooCommerce, you'll need technical expertise, which isn't the best option for beginners. Now, if you're a software developer or you plan on hiring one, then Magento is the best platform for you to work on. Now, the best part of going with an e-commerce platform is that many of these services provide web hosting services as well, so you don't need to get these services elsewhere. Now, once you've selected your platform, sign up with them, and now it's time to select a theme for your website. Now, e-commerce websites usually offer a few free themes as well as paid ones. Now, I personally went with a paid theme since none of the free themes match my brand. Now, because attracting customers to your store is very important, ensuring that you have a good theme is a crucial step in your online store. Now, you can also customize it by changing colors, fonts, and even layouts to your liking. Now, don't rush through this process because this is the main factor that will determine how well things are going to sell. So be sure to show your visitors what they want to see. Now, after you complete the design and layout of your website, it's time to add your products. Now, e-commerce platforms generally make it easy to add products. So with just a few clicks, you can get the products added to your store. Now, once you're all done with that, be sure to give a name to each of your products. Next, you want to write a compelling product description. Remember, this is also going to determine how will your products sell, so clearly describe the benefits and features. Now, I always put myself in the customer's shoes to see if I'd feel like buying the product after seeing its benefits and features. Also, don't forget to address common questions or objections that your customers might have. Maybe they're wondering about sizing, color, or possible allergies if you're selling food or cosmetics. To make your description easy to read, break it up into short paragraphs, use bullet points, subheaders, and make the text in bold letters whenever necessary. Now, I've realized that it's the small details that matter most. So, list the materials used, provide a size chart if applicable, and share the story behind your products. Now that you've crafted compelling product descriptions, it's time to make your products visually appealing by adding high quality pictures using product photography. Now in sending up my online store, I use mockups on a white background and stock photos for lifestyle imagery because high quality photos 
have a positive impact on your customers when they're looking at your products. Now it's time to set a price for your products. Take into account the cost, competition, and desired profit margin, and use the perceived value of your products to price the product with what your customers are willing to pay. Now that your products are set up with captivating descriptions, images, and prices, let's move on. Now the next step is inventory management. Now keeping track of your stock is crucial to ensure that you'll be able to fulfill orders and provide accurate information to your customers. This process will vary depending on which platform you choose, but I'm using Shopify and to set up inventory, I navigate to product section and select the products I want to manage. In the inventory section within the product details, I can see the initial quantity of my product stock by adding the number of items available, which will help keep track of my inventory and prevent overselling. I've also enabled the option of inventory tracking for all my products so I'm free from checking my inventory all the time since Shopify automatically notifies me. Now it's a good idea to set a reasonable threshold point for each of your products so when every product quantity falls below the threshold limit, Shopify immediately notifies me to restock. So take a few minutes to manage your inventory to avoid stockouts and ensure a smooth process for your customers. Now that your products are listed and inventory is managed, it's time to set out the shipping section. This step is to ensure accurate shipping rates and generate the appropriate shipping labels for each order. When setting up shipping, make sure that the weight of each item gets added automatically. And if you're selling goods internationally, make sure that you provided customs information clearly. Now, there you have it. You've successfully set up your online store, added products, and configured your shipping details. Now you're on your way to launching your e-commerce business. Now remember, this is just the beginning. As you continue to grow your business, you can customize your store further, optimize your products listing, and explore various marketing strategies to drive traffic to your online store and increase sales. Now, if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you have any questions or suggestions, post in the comment section down below. Remember, you can benefit from a three-day free trial as well as only pay one dollar per month for the first three months thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one